Namaste, uh, welcome to tutorial series on SuperPro Designer for Beginners Step by Step Guide to Process Simulation. I am Dr. T.P. Krishnamurthy, course instructor for this tutorial series. To know more about me, log on to www.tpk.org.in. In this introductory lecture, I would like to brief about the role of simulation and scheduling tools in analysis and optimization of various processes such as biochemical, pharmaceutical, fine chemical, consumer products, food and related processes. This slide is uh, taken from the intelligent website literature page and done some modification as per the requirement. You can download the complete PPT using this uh, below given link. So the question is, what is the use or role of these process simulators or scheduling tools in the phase of product development and commercialization? And many times we have a questions that when do we use these process simulators? You can use these process simulators any stage of process development starting it from idea generation or process development, facility design, even at well-established manufacturing uh, site also, you can employ this uh, process simulator. When it comes to idea generation, so the multiple projects are available so that you can use this process simulator to screen the project and understand which project is better or like feasible to take forward. And also people employ this tool for a strategic planning the ultimate goal of any uh, process is to make it more economical, eco-friendly and also the, you need to understand the feasibility of that particular process. And one more important thing you can use process simulator is like process development where sometimes what happens some processes are not economically viable are like you you have an opportunity to increase the yield of the process reduce the pro like pro production cost so it means that you need to find some alternative process yes definitely you can employ process simulators very important thing is it becomes a common language of communication because many process will not happen with one set of people the best example is fermentation process itself, for example, production of ethanol, if you take. We can generally classify, classify uh, this fermentation process into three categories in the academic perspective, like upstream, fermentation and downstream. So each like section, different set of people work. Many a times, the people work in upstream section may not have an idea of downstream, or people work in downstream section may not know what is happening in the upstream section. But if you give them a map of what the overview of the complete process, that might definitely help to make them understand better about the process and they can do a better job. And in the facility design, especially when you plan a process, yes, when you think, yes, this process is feasible, I want to take forward. The next level is you need to develop a facility. At that stage also, you can understand for that particular product capacity or kind of production capacity, what should be the size of your equipments you need to use. For example, bioreactor, I want to produce some 1000 kg of product per month, then what should be the size of bioreactor. So you may not do it in one batch, that particular 1000 kg, not necessary to be done. So you can employ some decent size, the reactor, and you can develop or produce in multiple batches that you can take it depending upon the budget that's what you can do equipment sizing utility sizing for example you are going to use steam uh, one of the main utility in bioprocess industry are many different industries so you need to understand what size of uh, steam generator you required what quantity of steam you required and many times in pharmaceutical industry they use wfi water for injection so what quantity of that is required so all these sizing design could be done uh, especially you can think of that uh, capital investment the capex or operating cost uh, uh, opex and different like that uh, the raw material cost or like 
so what profits you are going to gain so all this analysis could be done using process simulators and many people have a confusion whether we can employ process simulators for ongoing processes definitely you can employ many times it is very difficult to change uh, uh, immediately the process or any thing you want to upgrade maybe you can use the process simulators or company can employ these process simulators and check these changes will have a positive or negative impact and then they can take decisions accordingly so pro many different group of people like you can development groups process engineers corporates environmental uh, sector they working and tech transfer all these people can employ this particular set of tool and in this tutorial series i am employing a simulation tool called superpro designer which is developed by intelligent inc it has started established or established uh, in the early 90s and the initial product was biopro designer basically it was developed to cater the needs of biotechnology and biofuel industry and later it was upgraded to batch pro designer it started catering the needs of fine chemicals pharmaceuticals food processing and mineral processing and one more tool as far well, like as developed was environ pro designer to basically cater the needs of this uh, uh, environmental engineers are like waste water treatment water purification sector or air pollution control but today uh, all these capacities or capabilities are there as a together one software called superpro designer and now the version 13 is running and in coming videos i'll tell you how to download the trial version of this software and you can go through the features of this software and intelligent also supply one more product called as schedule pro basically it used for production planning production scheduling capacity analysis facility design and the bottlenecking and when it comes to functionality of superpro designer so what and all you can do using this particular software basically this software is not of uh, not for an academic purpose basically it is an industrial software means used for industrial purpose process development or optimization but what is the use of being a student learning this particular software is that in future you join such industries definitely it's a value addition to your cv the process modeling capacities when it comes to process modeling capacities of super pro designer you can generate the complete material and energy balances because the process is not of one or two unit operations definitely it will be of 20 30 different unit operations in one process and each unit operations have multiple sub operations so carrying out material balance manually become tedious definitely these simulators will help us to do perform the complete uh, material and energy balances and also environmental impact calculations are very important when you use lot of raw materials in the process when you produce a product when you produce lot of by products in the process what is its impact many times we ignore and we just throw it to the environment what impact it causes that environmental impact assessment or life cycle assessment could be performed using this particular software and resource tracking so very important when you develop a process when you develop a product definitely lot of resource is consumed you need to track them because the profitability is purely depend upon what is the quantity of resource consumed and what is the cost of those resources process scheduling so it indicates that lot of operations or lot of unit processes runs in the process then we need to understand so when to schedule or when to start when to stop such scheduling information could be performed there and also you can calculate equipment sizing so what size of equipment required for that production process and cost of those equipments complete capital and operating cost estimation could be easily performed using the super pro designer software and next very important characteristics of this particular tool is you can perform cycle time analysis and debottlenecking so basically cycle time analysis is in the batch process how much time it takes to complete one particular process is very important depending upon that you can easily calculate how many batches you can perform in one year and also debottlenecking there are a lot of constraints in the system and to minimize the constraint and maximize the efficiency 
you can use this particular tool and understand better and you can also perform scale up scale down studies in the sense you can simulate the scale up and scale down of the process in the simulator and you can understand the process better and very important thing one more aspect is technology transfer for example uh, the developed process from lab scale to pilot scale pilot scale to industrial scale when you want to transfer the technology definitely this simulation tool uh, helps people to understand better so how the super pro and schedule pro suit uh, help uh, the process engineers is that the first very important thing is it can perform engineering calculations that generally a process engineer needs to be done manually that you no need to do it manually because this tool will take care of that and equipment schedules and resource chart lot of equipment data or charts will be generated by this software and one more important thing is just now i told like you can do some material balances you can do environmental impact you can do ex equipment sizing so all this does not require different inputs it all may require same input but it perform multiple calculations and give you different outputs and if any small modifications if you want to do at one place if you do any changes automatically it reflect on multiple places that we will look into it later when we start performing real time simulations and easy to analysis analyze uh, or easy to perform the throughput analysis indicates that uh, throughput indicates that what is the capacity of that particular process and you can perform wide range of financial calculations from equipment sizing to costing and labor costing and many things and facility analysis of capital cost how much initially you need to invest on developing the process start the process and what is the cost required to operate the process continuously and you can optimize that costing also track current production so if the current production if you are using the simulator tool for current production plan you can track its current production plan for future production if any anything you want to improvise or implement some new aspects definitely you can use the simulators resource requirement update plans and many more and definitely the process simulators will be a better platform for comprehensive communication between set of people working in that particular process plant i hope this lecture is useful for you to understand the role of process simulators thank you for watching the video